turned that into Big Wonder Rest of the World. Now today I have a baby green iguana here, a very beautiful specimen. Actually when I caught him he was just more there's a much brighter green but they get stressed where but he's getting stressed right now so he's getting these lines here in a darker color right now so yeah, you can see when I caught him he didn't have any of these stripes here he's just developing the stripes right now so I was actually driving him with the car he had a branch sticking all this way and he was at the top of the branch I just saw his tail I don't know how I spotted him from through the car window but I just saw the tip of his tail hanging down I thought it was a piece of grass but I went and took a closer look because the tail was slightly different to the color of the leaves so when I went I saw his face and I was like oh and I was like oh, oh, oh my goodness that's a iguana so then I came over here as you can see this would be very very difficult to climb luckily I'm a light person so somehow I managed to stand on this here and hold on to that branch there he was at a branch way way on the top so I broke the branch I slowly worked it towards myself and then I reached my hand out and grabbed him I almost fell out of the tree but luckily I grabbed him onto a branch with my next hand and then I slowly climbed down yeah so I then I slowly climbed down the tree and it's actually a mix of three different trees we have right here we have this here a Chinese lantern which is actually poisonous so that's interesting that he was here this is a jamun tree and we actually have a cucumber vine growing up inside here too that's probably what he was eating probably eating cucumber flowers and the vine okay and as you can see he's really healthy here he's really healthy because he look how fat he is he's re really healthy and this is just this is just a small baby okay it's just a small baby and as you can see tail is probably like twice the length of the actual body here right and I'll release him just now and I'll show you guys a clip of that. Okay, I'll just give you a comparison. This is the like the tail compared to my arm, almost as long as my arm. Okay, now I'm gonna release him now right where I found them. It's really important to release these animals back where you found them because this might be a whole the permanent or maybe and you, you don't want to take them away from the apparent food source that's making them this healthy okay so i'm just gonna rest them down the ground here i'm expecting them to run off let's step back he was and as you can see he ran away quite fast much faster than most humans so that's a quick profile of the green iguana and they, that's faster they than feed bear. on mostly vegetation the faster they than do bear. occasionally when they are very small consume small insects that they can catch but that's not really common so they're mostly vegetarians well mainly eat plants and fruits and stuff and, fru and flowers they love flowers okay that was a quick profile of the green iguana and i'll catch you guys next week